Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bulima Kubo if you're new here. But if you are returning, welcome back. It's another episode of Wife Talks. <laughs> That's what I was waiting for. I was like, I know Murato's gonna sing everything. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy to have you. I think it's the first wife talks for the year. Sure. So, I'm yeah. so honored. So yeah, and we're speaking about something very, very interesting. Um, but before we get into that, or maybe I can, yeah, before we get into that, let me introduce our guest. Um, I have Muratua Trinity Mukwena. Yes. <laughs> uh, but I'd love for you to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit more about you. Um, so that our viewers can get to know. Oh yeah, so glad to be here mm -hmm. finally. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm Muratwa. I am a wife, mm -hmm. a sister, a rachadi. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, my day job. I find myself lecturing. I'm a performing arts lecturer and a PhD student. Mm. And I'm finding navigating myself into this digital content creation mm. space as well. Mm. So. That's I think part, part, part and parcel of just who I am and what I'm up to on a day. And one of my favorite titles, a new title added to your name, Must Dent. Oh yes! <laughs> yes, honey! <laughs> We're gonna get into that in a minute, uh, which is why she's here. We're gonna yeah. talk about their journey. Um, it's a very different approach to what people would um, have, especially getting into marriage. Yeah. Um, you know, usually people would get married and the couple moves into their home and then they start their lives just the two of them which wasn't really the case for you yeah. guys it is now but i'm i'm very interested to hear what that journey looked like and to learn lessons yeah. and to see the different ways on how we can actually navigate being married without you know um the conventional way that we used to yeah. and that is why we're here so i'm excited to get into it i hope you guys enjoy Let's go. I want to know about um, you and your hubby. You can tell us briefly about your dating journey up until you know you're preparing to get married and um, what the conversation looked like when you were planning to get married. So we dated for about five years, the longest five years of my life. <laughs> <laughs> and why I say that is because earlier on I already knew. Like in three months I knew. Mm. Uh, this is my husband. Um, yeah, no, God was, Holy Spirit was very clear. Yeah. Um, and so while patiently waiting, I think we, I think we took the time to try and figure out what our forever would look mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. And like any couple, your forever or after marriage, you know, house in order, car in order, mm -hmm. this in order, that. Um, and while we were planning then, um, towards that forever, I don't think we even imagined that we'd stay with my in-laws mm. but we always had like a solid a solid plan mm. get married for a few then have kids mm. a bit later mm. so the blueprint was was pretty was much good. there in, in that in that five five years and by the time you know he proposed Antamaradi, like we we had a clear picture of what it was yeah. um, that we wanted to achieve I will say though mm. um, it was very important for me in the beginning and during the dating to figure out what kind of a family I would be marrying into. Okay. And I think a lot of women, we, we don't do that extra, yay, that investigation. Yeah. Um, and we're still so stuck in the airy fairy, the lovey dovey of Which us of two. Which of just us two. No, that's, right? that, that's me. And so I was asking the serious questions, Guti Ejo, Din Tang, you know. Mm -hmm. At home, what's your relationship with your mom um, and her mother-in-law? Mm -hmm. Did she go to Isa? Okay. Um, how do you guys celebrate ABC? Okay. You know, how do you guys... So I was already, because I... And from that, I gathered that they're, although Christian, or mm -hmm. although Kibazalwan, they're extremely traditional. Okay. Right? And okay. by traditional, it's just that patriarchal kind of understanding of the role of a husband and a and wife. wife. Okay. Right? And yeah, following that research, I also figured that there was an intention to have me live with them to get oh. to know me. Okay, so right. not, not just for a period, because I know sometimes when you get married, yeah. um, sometimes they'll say you come in Godiza for a week mm -hmm. or a, this was not a week. No, they wanted to get to know me. So, oh. so there was already a conversation around, okay, soon after you get married, how do you think she would feel about sure, okay. living with us? Okay. Right? And I think 
when he presented that to me, luckily, I'd already had a conversation like that with my mom. Hmm. So, yeah, my parents are pretty liberal. Yeah, we're very liberal. Hmm. But my parents also understand that traditional aspect. And my mom said, you know, how would it be if you were to live with them for two, three months, get to know them? Mm. So by the time Habi comes with that proposal, I think Holy Spirit was maybe even preparing okay, yeah, yeah. for that. And so going in, I was open. We were open to it. That meant Habi moved out. He had his apartment. I'd always been living at home. Mm. Uh, so he moved back home. Mm. And I think I made that then transition in my mind. Mm. I'm going in there to serve. Sure. I'm going in there to get to know them. It's not going to be easy because we're polar opposites. Mm. Um, but yeah, I think I was just, I was open. I was open. Did I think it would be for three years? That, and that's no. what I wanted to find out because <laughs> you were going in for three months. You're thinking yeah. a few months. Yeah. And then those months turn into years. Yeah. Was that also a family, just a family decision or something that you guys had decided that, no, we, we can stay here a little longer? So... Hey, God, um, let me recall the day I move in, after the wedding, right? Mm -hmm. So there's so many things at play. After the wedding, there was an expectation from his grandmother mm. that I would stay there in Pumalanga and okay. she would teach me how to do the cherezin there in the village. <laughs> <laughs> Homegirl and homeboy decided, nah, we book honeymoon same time, like soon after the white wedding, yeah. off to Mauritius we go, yeah. you know? Um, so they were not really impressed about that mm. because she wanted me really to be and this is his grandmother okay right not even his mom sure. right so i already got the hint that yeah no Magotiville mm. is gonna be a serious thing mm. for me right uh moving then into um living with them so we come back from honeymoon and literally i fetch my bags at home it was a tough tough day mm. and we move in and literally my mom in love she sits me in a room and she says welcome mm. um, this is going to be your home now um, and this is what we do this is our routine Sunday morning you wake up at five you cook dinner and uh, during the week so, 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 so. Oh my word. right and I'm just like because back home yeah they soft. Go soft. <laughs> soft. <laughs> I mean, softy, I know hey. And then lunch, mom is cooking for thing. you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and I'd help here and there. And, you know, I know, I knew those things, but mm. she literally was saying, Uri, babes, this is your household now. Sure. Uh, we welcome you. Okay. And then she says her last words, and I won't forget, she says, I know you guys are going to want to go and, you know, start your lives and mm. move in, but please don't rush. Hmm. Hey. Dun, dun, dun. Yo. Uh, I immediately tell Bubba, I'm like, eh, she said this, and he's like, ah, don't worry. And I'm like, but did you tell them we're here for like three months? And he's like, no, but don't worry about it. She mm -hmm. doesn't mean stay forever. Mm -hmm. And true, the story is actually quite layered. But when I think about it and answering how it ended up being mm -hmm. three years was before, whilst I knew he's my husband, mm -hmm. right? God would only show me his mother in the dreams. Mm -hmm. Right, so I'd only see his mom, mm. and lo and behold, um, six months into having gotten married, uh, staying with them just for six months, mm. it was myself, my husband, his mom, his dad, mm -mm -mm. his dad passes away. Mm. Yeah, so plot twist. Plot twist. Yeah. yeah. Are you gonna leave? Yeah. Yeah. Can now you it's leave? Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can you leave? Mm. So. Jo yeah that's that's long and short of it that's okay. how in three months suddenly became three years because we're dealing with loss mm. and we were it was the four of us in the house yeah and if we leave who does she stay with? yeah that that to me i i understand yeah i, I can get how that transitioned to three yeah. years yeah but i want to know now what does that do for your marriage now yeah. how does your marriage develop into a marriage um, day I say because yeah. you've moved from dating and oftentimes I, I learned very quickly that once you say I do and you start your life with this person yeah. that's it's black and white <laughs> okay mm -hmm. but what does that look like for you because yeah. it's not like it's it's as black and white because you're obviously now still a daughter-in-law yeah. in someone else's household yeah. um, and I've had my experience 
even we don't even have to go far when Essie was born we come home you mm -hmm. know <laughs> we come home and not to say it's a terrible experience yeah. but there is something about you are it's two families under one roof yeah okay yeah um and how we are um, relating to one another is not how we would freely do in our mm -hmm. own space when we fight we're like what else you do mm -hmm. you know you, everything is just done under surface yeah. so what does your marriage then look like how does it evolve do you guys do you guys feel like it's growing um do you guys feel like it's okay we're not what did, what did that look like for the both of you i would say and we always talk about this mm. um one thing to get us through a lot was Bua would say, you know what, their house, their rules. Mm. Um, and their house, their rules comes a lot with compromise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I would say that in those, yeah, our first year, shame, even second year, even third year, for as long as we were under that roof, yes. our marriage started and ended in the bedroom. Yes. Because yes. the minute I leave the bedroom, my goti hat yes. is on. Yes. And I must get up, make sure the oats is boiling there, <laughs> make sure the meat is out there. Do you get know what I'm saying? Yes. And so it takes a toll. It took a great toll on the marriage. And I mean, we were just fresh. Yes. You yes, know, fresh, yes. newlywed, honeymoon phase out the window. Mm. Um, and it's not isolated because you look at now my husband, he's grieving his dad. Of course. And yes. his dad was his anchor. Of course, yeah. And now he's under pressure. One, he just got married. He's mm -hmm. got now a wife. Yeah. Now there's this inference of he must be a husband to his but mom. That, and that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Uh -huh. So now he has to play, yeah. he has to wear two hats now. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so you see the pressure he's under. His father was a pastor. So now there's also church pressure with the edge of uh, when I'm gonna do you help. get what I'm saying? Yo. No, they don't pal. Yo. So you find ourselves, I think, I remember this one conversation and it just boiled down to us saying, it's not about us. Um, mm. Let's try and get Mamzo through this grief. Mm. It's not easy. I mean, just watching, you know, that process from her being a widow and the things she's meant to do and the clothes she's made to wear mm. and it's 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 a totally you know mm. so as 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 much as i want to wife i couldn't okay i had to daughter or i had to makoti first and he had to son first in that home sure. and by the time the day is done that small nyana piece that we get in the bedroom it's literally not even mm. and mind you we sleep next door so also mm. Mm. yeah <laughs> <laughs> So the okay. marriedness, you can't enjoy. You can't. Um, and that's why we decided we're going to just travel as much as we can. Makes sense. Yeah, um, so that you can have yeah. that, that external yeah. pocket of, Absolutely. of just the two of you guys. Absolutely. And I think it was a lot of compromise on my part. I felt it was tough. Mm. It was really tough because you, you, you will never imagine that this is how God would have it. Mm. You know, we would have never thought it would be like that. But I think it was a challenge for ourselves as well to invest a bit more in how we want to redefine this marriage. Mm. And also we understood that it's a season mm. and it's going to pass. Mm. And this season will have an expiry date. But right now, hey, let's get through this grief because mm. he's not okay. She's not mm. okay. I'm a newbie in the family. Yes, and yes, yes, yes. I just need to carry and... Yes. Yeah. So the first yeah. thing that looks like already is that, okay, now our marriage has turned into a place of support. Yeah. He supports the family. At the same time, you're supposed to also support him and yeah. he's supposed to support you. Is that working well? Or did you find it hard to articulate that, you know, was it easy for you to say, you know, babe, actually today I'm a little bit tired or actually today mm. it wasn't the best day for me yeah. being here or navigating the space. And was that easily received? Did that help you guys? Um, sharpen communication skills did it help you guys sharpen um how you guys relate and and articulate yourself mm. to one another mm. what, what positive thing came out of that that season i would say it took it took quite a while for me to just say well, ah, i'm not okay mm. and so my escape would be i'd always go home okay yeah, any given opportunity i'd go home mm. and when we'd argue about but why are you always at home 
and I throw this tantrum like, ah, if you also at your mom, I also want to go to my mom and I want to sulk at my mom, you mm. know, um, because mm. it's hard. Mm. It's hard. I mean, you, you, you must understand. I was also a student. Mm. I think we got married at, at a time where a lot was, was changing in that yes. first year. I quit my job and mm. I decided to be a full-time master's student. Yeah. On top of now studenting, sitting in the traffic from Pretoria to Vitz, mm. I must come back and I now, must Hereza, yeah. I must do the dishes, yeah. I must, do you get what I'm saying? And so I remember though, on one day I was like, I'm enough, I'd forgotten to take out the meat. Mm. And Mamza didn't take out meat that day because mm. I think she was staunch in her approach of this is initiation mm. um, and mm. you must learn mm. to, you get what I'm saying? I get home, hey, the meat's not out there, fam. And it's just like, she asks, so what are we going to eat? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that time, Thesis is waiting for it's waiting me. waiting for you. And mm. that's when I was like, I, I'm struggling. Like, look, I can. Like, mm. I really can, but it's hard. Mm. Sitting in traffic, coming back home. Is there a way, Nyan? Mm. But I was also very scared about how he would present it to his mom. Because mm. I don't want to look like, what? Oh, she can't. Girl, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Lo and behold, two weeks later, she sits me down and she says, okay, I see you busy, so I'm going to get a helper. She'll come twice a week. Hallelujah. The heavens are open. <laughs> <laughs> right? And so I don't know if he did it or I don't know if she saw good TA shame, uh, but it just worked out that, and I think that's the, the thing I put in my head. I have to say something. Yeah. If I don't say good, something. Good. He's gonna think I'm um, your superwoman, yeah, yeah. yeah, and yeah. and he won't even go on the extra limb, you know. And and now he's at a point where, um, he'll be he'll he'll say no, but Buba has this assignment. She's not gonna cook today. Mm. Buba does, and 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 that protection then because of the communication mm. is so much easier mm. than to handle. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Let's touch on that protection aspect because yeah. it's something that happens in every marriage. Mm. My marriage as well. Mm. I think Kevin said to me multiple times, like, there's things you don't even know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? Behind the uh, scenes. Behind the scenes. <laughs> I'm, I'm out here. And I mean, I could probably even yeah. say the same for him. Um, what does protecting um, you mm. look like in that household? Were, were there times where he really, need to he really needed to come to your rescue? Um, yeah, what did what did that dynamic look like, and did were you happy with how you guys obviously growing because I mean mm. everything some honestly speaking there's things you learned by trial and error. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But at the end result, were you the end result were you guys able to say actually now we've got the hang of this? I know what protecting yeah. um, you looks like, and was he also able to call you to order when you were being a bit no babe I don't want to mm. do this today? Mm. You know, was he mm. also able to call you to order and also protect? His mom, yeah, you know, what, yeah. what did that look like? I think it was it was hard for him. Mm. Um, yeah, I watched him. He was very conflicted mm. all those years. He's very conflicted because he knows his mom, and his mom is wired a certain way. Yeah, and she has certain expectations of my role as Makut, mm. right? And you can take the family out the village, but you can't take the village mm. out the family mm. type of thing, right? Mm. And so here I am. I'm coming. I'm this liberal modernist what you have you know and he is trying to and we're, we're both you know I, I, I saw it with a small thing I think the first week month I got there I moved an ornament I didn't think it looked nice there so I moved it mm. just to test the water ah she ah she accepted that thing then I moved the sofa then two days later the sofa moved back I knew so that. that's when I yeah, that's, it's, mm. it's a game we play to try and, you know, get to know one another. And so what he would then do is, is try and mediate um, those nights of Mamzo loves Bob, by the way. Okay. Like, yeah. Okay. So the day okay. you're making a nice seafood paella, home girl wants yeah. her Bob. Yeah. Right? And so he's the one to say, ah, but Mamzo, try it out. Mm. You know? Um, so in moments that really count, he really does come through mm. uh, but I also saw moments where he felt like I also need to establish my boundaries mm. and I also need to say no mom so uh, not this not now mm. you know um, especially when it came to my schoolwork I saw him and I think the first six months I never saw takeaways in that house guys the way I was <laughs> cooking every day <laughs> and so when I heard he was like this one day he's like mm -mm, Kaleda's has a takeaway <laughs> 
then I go, oh, so do you guys eat takeaways? And they laughed. Mm -hmm. And I think it was his way of saying, you're my wife or brain mm -hmm. <laughs> from the pots, you know. So um, I think, yeah, it's those little things. I know that there are some, some parts where he literally can't mm. out of respect for the family because you are under yeah, there so there's nothing you can do you do. know what i'm saying mm. like even the church thing um we had to go to his family church mm. i had to wear the skirt mm. to church mm. and i couldn't you know yeah. so yeah it's it, it's a mix sure it's really fast for three years is over mm -hmm. okay now you are taking that step to get into a household i just want to quickly now that you've brought us on this journey yeah when when do you guys decide okay everybody's fine now let's go let's move and yeah take just take us through that journey before we focus on what marriage is now for you guys okay um yo everyone did not get fine <laughs> i think we reached a point where so in my head i thought okay i'll wait for the six months mourning period mm. You know when Mamzo can wear her clothes again, all that stuff, and so I asked the question, and I was like, "Okay, so when can we start looking?" And he said, "I'm not ready." Hmm. And I'm like, "You're not ready? What do you mean you're not ready?" He's like, "No, we can't leave Mamzo. Who are we mm. gonna leave her with?" Mm. Right? Mm. And I was like, "Yo, mm. okay." Mm. So I was like, "Okay, um." Can we have this conversation at the end of the year again? Mm. This is 2019. We got mm. married 2018, so yeah, 2019. Mm. Have the conversation and he says, no, I'm not ready. Mm. Then 2020 February, um, yo, I was, it was tough. I was, I was very down. I was putting on a lot of weight. Mm. Um, and I wouldn't say, I fell into a depression, I'm diagnosed, but I, I, I could feel like I was depressed because mm. I mean, as a woman, it's not even about the dynamics that now mm -hmm. and now I'm going to a church where we were scared. And mm -hmm. It wasn't about that. It was the fact that I hadn't imagined, God, that this is where I would be in my marriage mm -hmm. at this age. Yeah. You know, um, I think that's what was so difficult okay. for me. And I felt like, yo, my father-in-law passing, it robbed us so mm -hmm. much. So there's feelings of resentment, there's feelings of, like you're frustrated. Mm. 2020 Feb, I, I, I tell her and I'm like, hey Buba, for the sake of our marriage, can we try at least look mm. at houses? Um, you can see he was, he was avoiding the topic mm. um, and he, uh, he obliged me and we went to mm. the house. Mm. But I could see what his heart wasn't really in it, mm. you know? Um, and I understood, I understood, because literally it's just the three of us left in the house mm. and he's, he feels he's got this duty. This duty, that's the thing. Yeah, mm. you know, and I, I totally sympathized with him. And hey, we view the house, I can see he's not really into it. Um, and also financially, I don't think we even had enough muscle at the time. But you know me, I was trying to push, mm. trying to get out there. I, look, I was going to, yay. <laughs> means Betty Lotto every day I was going to make a plan yeah, to yeah. get out there type of thing. We viewed the house and after viewing that house, we didn't really like it. Then COVID happens. Hmm. Lockdown. No one can move. We no ain't one going can, nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. Mm. Um, frustration. Yeah. I find myself at a store and I'm like, you know what, God, I'm sewing into our home whenever you see fit for us to move into this home. And I buy a cute breadwin and I buy a cute mm. little this wall art situation mm. and I buy it just for myself to still believe that it's going to happen sure um, also when we moved in our wedding gifts mm -hmm. didn't open them mm. for all three years mm. and he wanted to open I'm like no we will open them in our home mm. and that for me was saying God yeah see my heart yeah <laughs> and so they gathered dust mm. and and so I would do those little things, you know, speak life into it, um, sit on property 24, if we have to sit on property 24, ask Google, okay, if we were to move, uh, who do you think could come here and stay with mom? So those kind of mm, things. Mm. Although now we need deep in COVID 2020, we ain't going nowhere, nowhere. Mm. right? But I'm speaking life into this thing. And over time, I really watch him as well. I think, 
yeah, I think there was just something that happened in 2020 mm. Mm. that for him it dropped that, okay, I okay. think it's time to go now. Now he's defrosting um, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, now it? we are more Nabuti. Mm. Oh, now he's looking at property 24. Mm. Now I'm not the one, you know, nudging. Pushing him. Mm. You know, now he's having dreams about, okay, what we need to do to get, do you get what I'm sure. saying? So it couldn't have happened with me nagging and pushing and, you know, it, mm. it was something that had to come organically, I think, from him. And I think also realizing the role he needs to play then as a husband, Yeah, it, it can only happen if we leave. Because yeah. that's the thing. I think eventually you have to say, look, I know that there's a, a, there's a certain role that I play. I know that I'm a daughter. Yeah. I know that I'm a son. But yeah. when you've made the decision to say, I do, mm. that is what God honors yeah. over and above Absolutely. All the other roles that you may or Absolutely. may not play over yeah. and above your fears, mm -hmm. over and above, you know, all your responsibilities. And this is what I'm saying. I can understand to a certain point what would happen or his reasoning behind, you know, let's stay a little longer. Mm -hmm. Listen, I, that I could get. Obviously, yeah. I'm not in your shoes. Yeah. The reality of it is probably like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. but I, for me as an outsider, I can then understand. Yeah. But there comes a point where we have to say, Okay, let's pack it up. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. So yeah. and and that is the most important yeah. thing. That then becomes the most important thing. Say, Lord, I've played my part and we've done this. You mm -hmm. know, our mm -hmm. our purpose here has been fulfilled. Now let's move on Absolutely. and focus on this thing that we have, which is marriage. Yeah. So now you find a house and yeah. you move in, and I can imagine the excitement. I can imagine this is new. Mm -hmm. This is great. Um, what then does um, the marriage looked like um, in terms of roles and not only that but just the the growth of it yeah you know do yeah. you see that oh my goodness this is different yeah you know this is this is healthy this is what we wanted yeah. obviously relationships have their things but what what does that then look like for your marriage what does your marriage now look like sure <laughs> um, sure we really. um, I think the minute we finally decided, it literally took a month. Hmm. Uh, we decided 2021 Feb, we sat down, we had a chat. It's time to go. Um, Got to tell Mamzo. Um, it's not going to be easy, I know. But we also need to give solutions and yeah. contingency plan. Okay, do you hear what I'm saying? And literally within a month, we were out. Hmm. It you know when suddenly you know yes, yeah yes. Sudden, suddenly yeah <laughs> the suddenly moment they were out you know um I can't tell you it uh, it was it's it still feels so surreal I sometimes mm. stand in the middle of the lounge and I'm like your God you did that mm. like you did that um, it wasn't easy obviously because um, the cord is now cut mm. um, and. Now we're feeling that leave and cleave. Now yes. leave and cleave activated. Yes. Um, and it was really an exciting, I think an exciting season, exciting period. Hmm. Financially, here's the thing. Hmm. Like, financially, we were tight. It was very tight. Yeah. But I think you reach a point where you say, you know what, God, you will get us through. But you have to. That's yes. the thing, you have to. God, you will get us through. Yeah. Because if we stay there under the guise of financially we are not ready, God is not forced to show himself. Sure. You know, he's not forced to a hey, open the do you know yeah. what I'm saying? And you're watching this man, ah, he's comfortable. He's got yeah. wifey on the left, mother on the right. You know, you know what I'm saying? Trey. <laughs> so now we're like, no, we're not gonna you know, the loss of dead soul is not gonna be the clutch. Finances will not gonna is not gonna be the thing. We're going to actively pursue this thing. Mm. Willie, I can't tell you the doors that opened financially for us to be able to even do the I things tell you needed to do. I tell you. Eh, we want money, go again, show. I tell you. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's that's because we were just as intentional. Sure. That wall art that I bought and I was crying when I bought it mm -hmm. and I was saying, God, it's the first thing I put up on our wall. I can imagine. You know? And when I look at it, sure. I'm like, we spoke into this, I cried yeah. into this, I sewed into this, it's finally happening. Hmm. Marriage is beautiful, like I think we're married now. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think we're finally married. I feel like it sucks man because it's our, well we moved out in our third year of marriage, mm. we turned four, uh, but it felt like yo, we're starting from scratch. Mm. You know, that's, mm. I think that was when I have that quiet time with God, I'm like, but God, 
many other plans I mm. had mm. Um, but it, it really felt like we've hit reset and I've taken you know taken this moment to I think we focus on where our peers are uh, our peers are on their second third child now in their second third house now mm. and here we are we're just starting mm. and hey it's a new thing and if yeah. he's doing a new thing it means that's where we find ourselves, yeah. you know, um, it's been lovely, you know, you just walk around the house naked when you feel like you it, know, child. you know, you know, yeah. you, you just Tells wake for who. up, you wake up whenever you want to wake up, <laughs> <That's what laughs> if you don't feel like cooking that no. day and PhD has you by the neck, oh, you just say, can we eat bread or Mr. Delivery strange. or something, yeah, really? and my husband is, He's just coming into himself. That's so, the head of our that's home. So our husband. Yeah. And hey, I'm watching uh, him do uh, my breakfast. Um, mm. You know, whereas back then he mm. would be like, hey, what are they going to think of me if I'm out here cooking? Because, you know because of the, the because cultural of the, yes. hierarchy or th thing that was the you setup that saying? you came yeah. from. Yes, so, understood. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm watching us laugh more. I'm watching us go out you know i cherish those nights where we're out we come back at six in the morning man you know and man. there's no one that's gonna be like i can imagine because I, again i'm saying when we here had se and there was a time where kevin and i were like we we need to be just as parents yeah first of all just, yeah. this is nothing to do with anybody anyone yeah. and, and for those who may know my parents are really great people yeah you know my yeah. dad is actually very chill my mom is the one who's more like things must have yeah, order yeah. so when we'd be out imagine we're grown when we'd be mm. out at nine o'clock still out she's like Nibu ya ni. and i'm like mom mom now imagine now we are just here for a yeah, reason imagine. right we're here for a reason we end we're two years yeah or two three years married already mm. um approaching three at the time yeah and you have someone who is like kwami Guami, you can't. I'm a gate of I'm telling you, there's no two a.m. Yeah. There's no top. Whereas, yeah. I mean, you can this past weekend, Kevin and I were like randomly, man, mom's got the baby. Let's go. Going. Eight o'clock, starting moto. <laughs> Where would you ever see that? Eight yeah. o'clock, starting moto. Yeah. You go from one place, go to the next yeah. place. We get back home at like twelve, yep. and we're just enjoying ourselves. I mean, that yeah. would never happen yeah. because you, there's this thing about when you're under someone's roof, you don't want trauma, mm. you don't want conflict, you don't want, you know, mm. so Absolutely. I can imagine just the taste that yeah. we've had. Yeah, um, it's, it's, yo, it's been awesome, mate. And you're actually reminding me, um, you'd find that Vele Vele church and the rule was you wake up at six, you cook. Yeah. So we'd come back at four mm. and I would have to, mm. uh, you don't sleep. Yeah, I'd have to make sure I've cooked. Now I've got the luxury of, oh, you know, Mr. E, please yeah. come through. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, um, I'm, I'm enjoying that. I'm really, really enjoying that we're getting to know each other. Yeah. Um, we really are getting to know each other. I understand him so much more. Mm. Um, we communicate so much better. It's, mm. it's those things, like, you can't really fight in that mm. house, you know. Mm. Um, and a lot of things you swallow because, hey, now it's his mom, now mm. you want to... You know, and so now we literally just have this platform to be ourselves yeah. and yeah, it's totally yeah. different. It's a different thing because now you're actually understanding now that it's just the two of you, what your Absolutely. marriage looks like. Absolutely. Before we continue, I just also want to touch on the pressures now, the mm. pressures of your peers. Mm. Um, obviously, your friends now understand the situation a little bit more better than we do as yeah. outsiders yeah. watching on YouTube, subscribers or whatever the case may be. They understand. Do they at any time say, I will guys I? Of course. Yeah. Yeah, of course. I think. And how did that affect the two of you? Um, look, they obviously, yeah, they, they obviously are asking, okay guys, but when? Mm. Um, okay, but when? Mm. But when? And for me, I know I'm ready to go yeah. at the time, mm. right? But the dynamic and the truth is we can't go until really he's healed and he feels his mom is at a place where she can also you yeah. know, let go yeah. type of thing. And so um, the the reasoning was always, look, not ready yet. Or hey, financially, we're still saving. Mm. And then we say we're saving, but we're out here traveling like, mm. you know. Um, and so definitely there they was this mm. thing. and. It also it also feeds into you like oh where would I be mm. right now you know mm. um, that's what it is but I think also we we were surrounded by such supportive people mm. that 
they even reached the point where they stopped asking because they saw it's frustrating me. Yeah. And they saw that, look, there's nothing, there's really nothing we can do. Um, and we just have to be in this moment, in this season. And it's a faith. Sure. Yeah. What a journey. Yeah. What an absolute journey. I think it's, yeah. I think it's really amazing how you guys have navigated that space and are still navigating. But what, mm -hmm. one of the things that I'm taking away that I've, I've really liked the most is that you, you got to a point where you said, uh -uh, this is it, yeah. you know? Yeah. And it's crazy because you've been married for four years now. Yeah. But you said your marriage only started yeah. a year ago. Yeah. yeah. I think that's the craziest thing for me. So what would you say to um, people who are considering this? Would you prefer that, you know, they get married, you know, and find themselves on their own if possible? Mm -hmm. um, again, I'm saying your story was so different than what I thought yeah. it was from the mm -hmm. outside looking in. Um, and now I know better, but where they can help it, yeah. what would you recommend? You know, that do they, do they just go out there? What, what do you think from someone who's been in that situation? What would you say? Sure, I would say that I think those who are still planning to get married mm. have this conversation. Mm. Um, I think gone are the days where we can say it can never be me mm. because life does happen. That's the thing, yeah. Um, anything can change right here and then and so you almost prepare yourself. Um, you ask God to prepare your heart for anything that might come, mm. you know, in your journey towards marriage. Um, have those hard chats, you know, before we... I'm not going to accept a diamond ring ya eighty tau. Come on, there's no home for us to move into. Hmm. You know, it's 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 that it's that kind of thinking. So sure. right. Um, if if you, if you've got a place, decide are you living in that place. If you're marrying into that cultural, what are your boundaries? Hmm. And and tell your in-laws. That's good. Okay, definitely, I'll come serve you. I'll get to know you, but. Three months is my cut off, mm. right? Mm. Um, and and make sure in those three months you're living in there, you have signed offer to purchase or you have secured or that, something. That thing, yeah, right? you have put in your deposit. Look, the wheels are of going. the bus must go around. Because the around. minute you put in money, you made a commitment, exactly. especially that money. You, exactly. Nobody's gonna play around with money. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. So the wheels of the bus must go round and round. You mm. know, um, interrogate your husband as well because they become comfortable. They're at home. They're good. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and so you must always check in with him, but this was our blueprint. Mm -hmm. This was the plan. This is the vision. Um, yeah, this was our vision, right? And those who definitely go straight into your own abodes, um, <sighs> praise God for you. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah! Yeah. But if you are really, I mean, leave and cleave doesn't mean uproot, it doesn't mean excommunicate. And it doesn't mean abandon. It doesn't yes. mean abandon. Yes. And so if you're in your space, you know, make time to get to know your in-laws. Mm. You know, if it's if it's tea once a month with her, I think that's what I've appreciated so much, mm. living with them. Um, I knew my, my father-in-law for that six months. I got to serve him. I knew how his tea was. Yeah. You know, I got to know him. And in these three years, I got to know my mother-in-law as well, and I've developed a relationship. Mm. And there's nothing you know there's nothing i don't know about her and if she needs something she knows she can call me you know because of the luxury of that time we spent together mm -hmm. you know and so as hard as it was i i know it was god's perfect plan for the type of family i'm married into mm. and so depending on the type of family you are marrying into you need to understand what is their currency and i know my mm. currency in that family is service and presence um and so if, if mm. your currency is maybe tea twice a week, then do that, mm. you know, um, try and integrate yourself as best as you can, but also establish your boundaries, That's so good. Uh, but decide before you get married, fam, if, if, if you want to do this, because it's not for the faint hearted. Mm. Um, I know there are women who reach out and they say, I'm in my seventh year, I'm in my third year, and I always say to them, go back to the vision, go back to the plan. Mm. And if God wills for you to move at this moment, you will move. Do it and, and don't waste and time, run. just run. Yeah. Because that's and the moment run. of opportunity. That's yeah. the door opening. Absolutely. Mm. So check on the list, what is holding you back. Mm. And all those things. Look, honestly, we're sitting with the grief to this day. The grief will never go, sure. right? But then how do we move? How do we take it with us mm. everywhere we go? But we are still moving. So, yeah. Man. Yeah.
I feel like you're gonna have to come back for so many chats. I just wanna go on with this. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. This is this is touching in laws, which is yeah. what people struggle with. Yeah. Um, what people, even like myself, still navigating because I didn't even have that opportunity. I was that yeah. person like, Godiza, who? <laughs> Honeymoon. <laughs> You know, yeah. um, so many things um, to learn about, especially mm. with navigating the space. I think that we could learn from you. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, God willing, the opportunity will come where we'll sit and literally discuss it. I've had that with my mom from an older perspective, yeah. but now I've had, I, it would be great to have you chop that up for us and, awesome. and teach us even more. So, man, I didn't expect to learn so much um, from today's conversation, but I'm so grateful yeah. um, for it. And thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for being open and for sharing that part of your life. Um, if you may or may not know, I'm hoping that you do know that her and her husband also have a YouTube channel um, called The Gwenas, ne? Yeah. Just The Gwenas. The Gwenas. The Gwenas. Yeah. So you can go ahead over there and enjoy their content. Um, they have vlogs, which I actually like the form of your vlogs. Oh, you know, you. it's like a re mini reality, reality show. How they've structured <laughs> their vlogs. They have now motivational Mondays. Yeah. They have chats as well, conversation. Um, yeah, so you can go ahead and um, find them on their channel and social media as well. I'm gonna link everything in the description box below so you don't have to stress. Uh, thank you so much for, for coming. Yeah, for coming. Yeah. And until next time, guys, until the next one, bye.